Medjugorje. The situation is critical and demands global attention. Dear brothers and sisters, the situation in Medjugorje is extremely critical. Recently, Our Lady did not transmit any verbal messages, but dedicated a moment of deep prayer in Aramaic, interceding for all of us. The seer Maria Pavlovich told us that Our Lady prayed for our intentions and for everything we carry in our hearts. Our Lady's request was simple but significant, that everyone gather in the same place at the same time the next day. After this solemn prayer, Our Lady blessed everyone with the sign of the cross before returning to heaven. This moment was marked by an impressive silence on the part of the seer Maria Pavlovich, showing an atmosphere of great concern and seriousness. Maria Pavlovich, upon receiving the vision of Our Lady, showed an expression of deep concern and sadness on her face. This expression reflects the urgency of the message. The world needs more people dedicated to prayer and conversion in order to avoid imminent catastrophic events. The gravity of the situation is underlined by the fact that, despite the millions of people in the world, only a small fraction respond to Our Lady's call. In times of apparitions, the seer's silence and solemnity indicate the seriousness of the moment. The absence of a verbal message can be interpreted as a sign of the urgency and need for an immediate and collective response to the call to prayer and penance. The presence of pilgrims from different parts of the world in Medjugorje, responding in their mother tongue, symbolizes the universality of Our Lady's call. This is a global call that transcends borders and religions, uniting everyone in a common effort of prayer for peace and conversion. In short, the situation in Medjugorje demands our immediate attention and action. The expression of concern on Maria Pavlovich's face should serve as a powerful reminder of the seriousness of the moment. May we all respond to Our Lady's call by gathering in fervent prayer and seeking sincere conversion in order to achieve peace and avoid future calamities. Concern is visible on the face of Seer Maria Pavlovich. It is clear that when she looked at Our Lady, her expression revealed a deep sadness and concern. This expression reflects the seriousness of the moment and the urgency of Our Lady's message. Dear brothers and sisters, I believe that Our Lady understands the need to mobilize as many people as possible in prayer and conversion to avoid the catastrophic events that are approaching worldwide. Consider that our world is inhabited by billions of people, but only a small fraction are responding to Our Lady's call. Many are unaware of the veracity of these apparitions and, among those who do know, some don't believe or simply ignore them. Uncertainty hangs over us. We don't know if Our Lady will leave us a message today, or if the visionary Mary will tell us if she is more joyful or still sad. One moment that really caught my attention was when Our Lady prayed in Aramaic, her mother tongue. This intense prayer, addressed to God, was a plea for all of us. Praying in one's mother tongue is an act of deep connection and sincerity, and those following the live stream could feel the intensity of this moment. The meeting in Medjugorje brings together people from all over the world. Italians, Croatians, Americans, Spaniards, Japanese, Koreans and others. Each person answers the prayers in their own language, creating a global tapestry of faith and devotion. Each person there represents their country, their nation, but even with this diversity, we are few in the face of the magnitude of what urgently needs to be done. The gravity of the situation is undeniable. We need to increase our efforts in prayer and conversion to respond to Our Lady's call and avert the imminent disasters. It is a critical moment that demands our full attention and devotion. United in prayer we can make a difference. May we all respond to this call with an open heart and the determination to promote peace and salvation. What is happening in Medjugorje is unprecedented in the more than 40 years of apparitions. Recently, Our Lady made a call to the people to gather at 10 o'clock at night, and she is appearing at 11.30 at night, half an hour before midnight. This time reinforces the urgency of the situation. 
In a world where the news is full of reports of attacks and conflicts in various countries, we must take the events in Medjugorje seriously. More people need to know about it. We hope that today Our Lady will convey a message to the seer Maria Pavlovich that can lighten our hearts, confirming that our novenas, sacrifices and penances are pleasing God and making a difference in the face of the current crisis. The moment of the apparitions is marked by a profound silence. The seer withdraws into herself, and we don't know exactly what Our Lady is saying to her. However, it is clear that the events in Medjugorje are of extreme seriousness and importance. The apparitions in Medjugorje are recognized as one of the greatest spiritual manifestations in the world, attracting pilgrims from all continents all year round. It's not only Catholics who visit this holy place, but also atheists, Orthodox and people of various religious denominations. Our Lady wishes to bring everyone together, regardless of faith, calling them to conversion through her Son Jesus. She wants everyone to recognize and believe in Jesus as the only Lord, sent by God for the salvation of the world and of every soul. In Jesus is our salvation and the hope for humanity. The apparitions in Medjugorje serve as an urgent call for global conversion and unity in prayer. This is a decisive moment in our spiritual history, and we must respond with faith and devotion, seeking peace and salvation in Jesus Christ. Our Lady is making a special and urgent request, just as at the beginning of the apparitions, when she summoned the faithful to climb the hill of the apparitions, she is now asking us to pray intensely for peace. We must seek peace in our hearts, in our families and throughout the world. It is essential that each one of us helps Our Lady in this mission. The video is ready and all you have to do is share it on your social networks. The more people unite in prayer, the stronger our cry will be. Also leave your prayer request in the comments so that others can see it and pray for you and your family. May we form a true spiritual family here on the Light and Faith channel, where everyone intercedes for each other. Let's unite our voices and hearts in prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, Pray for us and grant us peace. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.